One day I realized that the only way I could notate the music or represent that sound would be in the shape and structure of mandalas. The music was born in a vision, a sound vision of extreme power in which I thought if I continued to listen to that sound I would go deaf and I prayed that if I would go deaf just don't let the sound stop. Though we really don't need it because we only need one, and she should be able to have one. From the Digitech, I go out. In to the line six. What Joel has asked me to do here for Savitri is to be in charge of the electronics. For the show, my role will be to help assist Joel in using the processors. The clanches a, a move or a change in pace, okay. otherwise it gets very monotonous right. rhythm. Uh, right. right, visually. Right. Okay. All right. And actually, that was one of one of the questions I was I was wondering about is. When I'm playing, should I be reacting or or to to what I'm seeing? Dancers, you know, or is it a separate thing, sort of like a Merce Cunningham thing? No, 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 no not Merce Cunningham at all. No, no, you know, we totally John Cage Okay, good, <laughs> absolutely. For me, I find this project very interesting, philosophically and intellectually, trying to realize Joel's concept. As a performer, the challenge for me is, is then to, ad to adapt that form to, uh, to fit with the dancers and what the dancers need. So we do this, we do that three times, and then we start this kind of walk. That's when we want the music to start with the third walk. Well, what about the second? It's the third. वो धागा है जिसमें पूरा यूनिवर्स बंधा हुआ है। No, does it move out like this or does it move round like this? One, two, three. Oh, I see. So this is one quadrangle. Then you go to the next quadrangle. Then to the third. Then to the fourth. हाँ. ता. हाँ. ता किता. ता. ता किता. हाँ. ता का. ता का. Okay, so you go ta ta ti ti ta ta ti ti ta ta ti ti ta ta ti ti, and then they will play the outer circle only. In this, there are four different mandalas: seven, nine, thirteen, and eleven. For seven and nine, we are using the jadi, the bowls, like ta kita ta kadimi and all that. For the thirteen and eleven, we are using swaras. I think for a piece like this that has both an abstract element as well as a narrative element, I like to rely on the very basic expression that the body can uh, give out through movement. We've uh, tried to use a mixture of some very, uh, I guess, inborn emotional expression that can be seen in the form of uh, movements expressed with you know very jagged lines and very rough edges in some ways combined with uh, some more structured and choreographed sections In some senses, my role here has been like a facilitator because I've had to pull many strings together. Sri Aurobindo's work, 
the story of Sati Savitri, Joel's work, the esotericness of it, trying to translate it into something that is understandable, A, to the dancers and then to the audiences. My own text which I have used in the conversation between Death and Savitri. It has been a truly collaborative process with no one getting onto high horses of this is my work and you can't comment on it. And that's been the excitement. Thank you. 